I stand before you today with a heart filled with gratitude and love. Four years ago, I received a call from the pastor search committee asking if I was interested in the senior pastor position at First Baptist Church of Dover. Although I did not know where Dover, Florida was located, several months later, knowing that God had called me to pastor this church, I moved my family to the winter strawberry capital of the world. Since then, we've had and made many friends and witnessed numerous lives changed, including 130 souls who entered those baptismal waters. Three of those baptisms were my own sons. Likewise, our family has grown by one with the addition of our daughter-in-law, Mrs. Haley Francis. Although we've had much to celebrate together, today I'm officially resigning from the following positions. The senior pastor of the First Baptist Church of Dover, the chancellor of Tyndale Christian Academy, the president and ex officio board member of the Joseph Project Fund, and the membership of the First Baptist Church of Dover for me, my wife, and my minor children. This decision was made after seeking wise counsel from a trusted group of devout men, my godly and beautiful wife, and my father, whose opinion I hold in the highest regard. Therefore, I can confidently say that my decision to resign is what is best for my family. Moreover, I'm leaving you in good hands. I agreed in my resignation that I would not publicly or privately discuss the issues surrounding my reason for resigning. Moreover, I respectfully ask that you not approach me to discuss these matters, but because prolonging this conversation past my resignation would be inappropriate. A famous theologian once said, we should ask God to increase our hope when it is small, awaken it when it is dormant, confirm it when it is wavering, strengthen it when it is weak, and raise it up when it is overthrown. There is not one blade of grass and there is no color in this world that is not intended to make us rejoice. Therefore, let us rejoice in the Lord always. In the last four years, Pastor TJ has moved First Baptist Dover to the next level. His vision of the Tyndale Christian Academy became a reality. He integrated the children's church within the church service. We see that each and every Sunday. And challenged the entire church to memorize and recite scripture to each other so that we would be prepared to recite it to a lost and dying world. It makes my heart sad in accepting this letter of resignation. I know our Lord and Savior has plans for him as he begins the next chapter of his ministry. As members of First Baptist Church, our prayer as we move forward has been to seek God's direction and remain unified as brothers and sisters in Christ, following his will, not ours. Where's my letter, Bruce? May I have yours? Please stand for the benediction today. From Isaiah chapter 12. And you will say, in that day, I will give thanks to you, O Lord, for though you were angry with me, your anger has been turned that you might comfort me. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. In that day you will say, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples and proclaim his name as exalted. Sing praises to the Lord. 
for he has done gloriously. Let this be made known in all the earth. Shout and sing for joy, O inhabitants of Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Please join us as we pray. Father, we stand before you today realizing that you are the great provider, sustainer. You take care of all of our needs, and we thank you and love you. Father, my prayer to you is that you'll just be with Pastor TJ and his family as they move into the next journey in his life. Father, I also pray that you'd be with this church, Father. Father, just allow this church to, to be able to stand strong, to proclaim you as Lord and Savior, Father. Father, I want us to reflect on something here and realize that there's no winners in this is what's going on today. The true damage is to your church, the universal church, Father. And I just pray that as a body of Christ that we'll be able to come together, we'll be able to study scripture, apply that scripture to our daily lives. Allow us to be the children that you want us to be. Allow us to seek answers in the Bible, not amongst man's world, Father. God, I truly love you, and I thank you for what you do. I don't know the reasons that, thing hap that things happen, but I do know that you know, and I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for serving a true loving God who, never, who knows everything from the beginning to the end, who knew this day would happen today before it was ever created, Father, and I thank you for being that God. God, I ask that you just be with each and every one of these members of congregation sitting here today realizing that we're the true body of Christ, Father. God, I love you, and I thank you, and allow us to go in peace. Allow us to be able to praise and worship you and lift your holy name up, Father. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <laughs> 